Hi, I'm Kim, and thank you for joining me for this workout. I'm so glad you are here. This is a full body workout for beginners to intermediate. We'll be working your chest, back, quads, and hamstrings. My goal with this video is to give you a quick workout that you can fit into your schedule twice this week. I recommend a day or two in between each workout. Before we get started, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Every Tuesday for the next six weeks, I'll be releasing a new full body workout. Throughout this six week series, we'll focus on the major muscle groups. This week, we'll focus on chest, back, and legs. And one more thing, in addition to building muscle, if you're looking to lose body fat or simply want to improve your nutrition, check out my step-by-step -step guide to meal planning with macros. I'll put the link to that free resource in the description below. Okay, let's get to it. The first exercise in today's full body workout is going to be the squat. Now I want to give you a couple of different options. As I did say in the beginning, this is a beginner to intermediate. So I want to make sure everyone is covered. So let's start really quick. Let me give me a quick demo. I'm going to give you a demo of three different ways you can do the squat. So the first one is the beginner squat and you're going to need a chair or bench. So for this one, you're going to stand comfortable. I don't really care your leg placement. A comfortable stance is all I'm going to care about. And for this one, we're going to gently touch our butt to the bench and stand right back up. So it looks like this down, touch up, down, touch up. And this is the beginner just getting ready to do squats. So if you're here, that's totally fine. You're just going to do them tap to the bench or your chair and stand right back up. The next level up is an air squat. I also love these for warm ups. So you're going to stand again, same kind of a stance, but we have no weights, but we're also not using the chair. I like to just to hold my hands in front. Whatever you do with your hands is totally fine. You're going to squat down however far is comfortable for you and then right back up. So you might go a little bit farther than the bench. You might not, but you're just going to do it in the air. So this is the air squat. The sec third option is to use a dumbbell or two dumbbells actually. So you're going to have two dumbbells for this squat. How you hold them is up to you. So my preference is to rest them on my shoulders, bringing the other opposite end of the dumbbell, bring the nose together. It just makes it a stable platform on my shoulders, but you can also hold them down by your side. It's totally up to you. And then you're going to squat down. So the exact same movement we used before, down, up, down, up, going down as far as is comfortable for you. Okay. So those are your three options for this squat. I'm going to use the dumbbells for my version, but you pick the version that is best for you. All right. We're going to do two sets today and we're going to do 12 reps. So grab your dumbbells. If you're going to use a dumbbell, place them on your shoulder, hold them by your sides. Let's go for it. Let's do 12. Take it down. One and up. Abs are in nice and tight. Two. There's three, four. Squeeze in your butt. Here's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do two more. Last one. Nice job. Now you can sit your weights down if you're using weights. You can hold them by your side. Take a deep breath. We're going to do that one more time through. Relax. Deep breath. Grab your dumbbells again. Again, place them wherever you want. Or again, if you're doing them on the bench, that's totally fine. Let's do 12. Down and up. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, keep going, 
nine, 10, we're gonna do two more. Last one, nice job. Now we're going to work our back with a seated banded one arm row. So you'll need a resistance band for this. I recommend start out light. You can always get a heavier band, a tighter band if you need to. So let's wrap it around our foot. So I've got it around my right foot. My right hand grabs the resistance band. I like to have my knees just slightly bent, do what's comfortable for you. We're going to pull the resistance band so that our elbow goes back behind our body. So it will look like this. Arm will be kind of straight. You're gonna twist, bring the arm back, feel a nice stretch in your back and release. We're gonna do 12 of these. We'll do the right side and then we'll switch and do the left. Let's go. Pull, abs are in tight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, here's 10. Let's do two more of these. One more, nice job. And let's switch sides. Band goes around the left foot, grab it with my left hand. What you do with your opposite hand is totally up to you. You can have it under your leg, you can have it on the floor, whatever's comfortable. And let's pull, twist. There's two, three, four, five, six, keep going, seven, abs are tight, back is straight, nine, 10, it's two more. Last one, a nice job. Slowly release the band. Get ready for the next set so you can be starting to put it around your foot. Now always, always check your band before you get started. Make sure there are no tears or holes. The last thing you want is for this thing to break on you. Um, they don't last forever. So a good idea is just to check it every time. All right, we're going to do 12 of these again. Abs are tight, back is nice and tall. Let's go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, keep going, 10. And one more, nice job. Slowly release it, switch sides. Got it in my left hand and let's pull it back. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there's 10, let's do two more. Last one, and slowly release the band. Nice job. Now in this exercise, we're going to work the hamstring. That is the back of your leg. We're doing the deadlift. So you're going to need two dumbbells. You're going to stand up nice and tall, shoulders are back, abs are in tight, squeezing your butt, the dumbbells are in front of you with your palms facing your quads with a very flat back and abs are tight. You're going to hinge at the hips as your arms go down towards the middle part of your shin. And then you're gonna squeeze your butt and come back up. That's your deadlift, again, working the back of your leg. So we're going to do two sets of these, 12 reps each. Abs in tight, shoulders back, hinge at the hips, let's do 12. Take it down, squeeze, squeeze it up, squeeze the butt, take it down. There's two. Think about pushing your butt to the back of your room, three. Here's four, five, six, seven, eight. Try to look about maybe three feet in front of you, nine, looking down at the floor. 
Here's 10, two more. Last one and bring it up. So we're just gonna rest that out for a moment or so. Again, abs, I'm gonna say this over and over, keep your abs tight, you want your back flat. If you have a mirror to look in, that's really good to make sure we have good form. Think about pushing your butt to the back of your room. All right, let's do it again. So again, feet at a comfortable stance, not too wide, maybe about hip width. Abs are tight, shoulders pulled back, bend or hinge at the hips, take it down. Looking in front on the floor, there's one. Squeeze, two, squeeze in that butt, three. I think that was three, sorry. And four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Really squeeze that butt. Ten. And one more. Nice job. And the last exercise for today's workout is going to be the rotating chest press. So we're gonna work the chest, the top of our chest here. Um, you may have done a chest press before. You may not have done a rotating chest press. So I'm going to demonstrate it first, then we'll get started. So you're gonna need two dumbbells. You're gonna roll all the way back to the floor. Feet are comfortably on the floor. Your back is pressed into the floor and your arms are out to the side. So we're going to rotate. So we're gonna lift it up and rotate at the top. Looks like this, up, rotate. So the dumbbells come in, your palms are facing each other. Then you're going to rotate them out and bring the weights back down. You stop just before your arms hit the floor. I'll do it one more time. Take it up, rotate, rotate it back and bring it down. All right, so get ready. Back is flat, feet on the floor, abs are tight. Arms are out, we're gonna do 12 of these. Take it up, there's one, and down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there's 10, two more. Last one, bring it down, drop your weight. Now you can roll up and we're gonna rest for a second or you can just lay on the floor, it's up to you. Now if you are more advanced and you wanna make this more difficult, all you need to do is grab a heavier dumbbell. So the goal should always be by the time you hit that last rep, number 12, you're done, you, you need to rest. If you feel like you could keep going to 20, it's probably time to increase your weights. Okay, grab your dumbbells, roll on back. Let's do it one more time. Feet on the floor, back is pressed against the floor. Your abs are tight. Let's take it up for 12, up and rotate. One, there's two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's 10, do two more. You should be getting tired. Last one, nice job, bring it down and drop your weights, roll up. And that was your full body workout for this week. I recommend you do this one twice this week, if at all possible. So if you're doing it on Tuesday, maybe you do it on Thursday or Friday, have a day or two in between. There's also other videos that you can do during the week as well. I'll put a link to a couple other videos that you can try out if you want to put something else in there, but try to get this one in twice this week if you can. And don't forget, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the future videos. Again, I'll be releasing a new video every Tuesday. So drop me a comment. Let me know how you're doing on your fitness journey.